Hello everyone and welcome to another GCN training session. Today we have a 50 minute session for you, so it's a long one. So make sure you're prepared for this one, make sure you've got the fluids on board, maybe even a little bit of food in the pockets, a little bit of sugar, and also potentially think about being rested because this is a tough one. Okay, folks, I'm gonna describe the whole session to you in just a second, but first we're gonna introduce Hank, we've got Maddie, Katie at the back there, and we've got Morgan joining us with you guys. And you're all at home. It's gonna be a good one. Starting off at two out of 10 on the effort level. And then we're just gonna notch up the effort a little bit for a couple of minutes as we start this warm up. And I'm gonna tell you a little bit about what we've got in store for you today. So get those legs spinning. 10 seconds. And then I want everyone just to up the gears a bit. Three, two, one, up to round four out of 10 on the DCN training perceived effort scale. That's what we go off on these training sessions, one out of 10, that's super easy, all the way up to 10 out of 10. That's the hardest effort you can possibly do. So the session is 50 minutes long. The main bulk of the work is gonna be three times 10 minute efforts. Now the session is called Ramp It Up. So throughout those 10 minutes, I'm gonna get progressively harder. I'm gonna finish with a one minute all out effort. Now this is a brilliant one, really will improve your threshold, power, your ability to hang on in there and do some solid all out efforts on your own or potentially up a longer climb. You may be in the terrain that allows for that. Maybe some hairpins climbs coming your way in the summer months. I use this one a lot when I was racing myself. I used to do it at the end of a couple of hours riding, ramping up the effort. It's a nice way of breaking down a 10 minute effort, keeping it a little bit more engaging, making sure that we use our right leg as much as our left. Hank, how are you feeling today? Feeling good, buddy. I'm excited. 15 minutes is a long time but it makes it go a hell of a lot shorter when you're presenting it. So uh, I'm excited to see what you've got in store for us because I reckon you've got some slightly longer efforts in there, not just sprints. And uh, and yeah, it should be a good one. Hang on in there if you're at home. Do your very best to stick with Connor. We will do our very best to stick with Connor too. We'll try. And, uh, and we'll see where we get to. Hopefully we become a little bit fitter, a little bit stronger, a little bit more enthusiastic when we get off these bikes. That's the spirit, and I'm looking forward to taking you through one of my favorite sessions, 50 minutes. All that work, one I use so many times. All right, let's just knock back the effort. Once more, it's two out of 10. Still in our warm up. Yeah, this was one of my favorites. So I'm looking forward to sharing it with you all, seeing how you find it, and seeing how you get on afterwards. How many watts, how much power you gain from this one. Definitely will notice the returns. Putting all that power in the bank and storing it up for some wattage bazookas out on the road. Like a tiger in the jungle. A lion on the Serengeti. An antelope on the plane. We also like to have a laugh here on the GCN training channel. Training has to be fun as well. And serious, three seconds to go. Right then, let's do some amber. The lighting has changed. Let's up the intensity to seven out of 10 for two minutes. So this is our, still part of our warm up. We're just starting to push on a bit. Start to work those muscles. Start to engage our bodies. Think about which muscles we're using in our legs. Let me get out of the saddle a bit. I hope you enjoy this one at home from wherever you may be. We always love to hear from people. So let us know in the comment section below where you're riding from. It's a community on the GCN training channel. We're all in it together get a moment between the intervals, do pop a message down and we'll do our best to get back to you. One minute to go, 
at this stage of the warm-up. And as you may have noticed, we have a very experienced lighting team here with us, <laughs> here with us today. So the lights will change from green to amber to red, depending on the effort level. Our lighting man has worked on some serious films. <laughs> <laughs> we do have fun with the crew here as well who are the heroes of the GCN training channel <laughs> let's knock it down a bit let Hag recover 2 out of 10 on the effort level Let that warm up sink into the legs. <laughs> Gotta have a bit of laughter. Gotta share the jokes. Gotta have some fun. That's what cycling is all about. It's a serious endeavour, but it's all about enjoyment as well, isn't it? It's about that fresh air. <laughs> it's about that fresh air in our faces. One minute 20 to go, this easy interval. I'm just gonna notch things up again. And I'll tell you one thing, when we do notch these things up, we're into our first three, lots of 10 minutes. Into our <laughs> first 10 minutes effort. <laughs> I've tickled Hank, I've tickled him. One minute to go. I'm still waiting to hear what, what our lighting crew have done and what they've worked on. <laughs> <laughs> what films they've been in. Well, there's been some fantasy films involving hobbits and orcs, you know, part of the <laughs> <laughs> We also had a wizarding child. He wore glasses. He was part of that production as well. Although it must be said, his threshold was not above 300. Uh. So no matter what spell you use there, sometimes you need a bit of old fashioned hard work. Found the information out <laughs> from our lighting crew. Right then, it's not that 10 minutes, serious time now, warm up's over. Five out of 10. This is the first of our 10 minute efforts. So just starting out, kind of an aerobic effort. You're within yourself, but you're pushing on. It's like you've just started a climb on an easy ride. And you've got no other option. So dig in and get yourself to the top. Four and a half minutes to go at this intensity level. Plenty of riders use a session like this. Really great, strong riders like myself and Hank. Three minutes, 45 to go. We do have some fun, we're just messing. But in all seriousness, this is a really great one. Go and improve your threshold, really want to push yourself on quite small recoveries in between each 10 minutes. So whilst it is a three by 10 minute interval set, once you examine the work you do in this session, across the 36 minutes, let's face it, include the, the two minute recovery zones, you are looking at a long effort, akin to a very long climb in the mountains. So if that's something you're preparing for, this is a great one to follow along to. 
dig in, get the work down and prepare yourself for what you're taking on. Hank, how are you feeling? Feeling good. I'm just kind of getting into it really. Warming up, awaiting these harder efforts, but um, I feel like we're setting into quite a long but solid effort. Good job. Thanks for having me. Thanks for coming. Thanks to the lighting crew for coming too, because we have some fantastic <laughs> illumination today. Do try and make sure to use a fan if you can. We have lots of fans here in the GCN training dungeon, keeping us nice and cool. Maddie, you're looking strong. Feeling strong. Tell us, Maddie, what was your favourite training session? Um, I quite like the um, the ones that you can do outside as well, on like climbs and stuff. I do prefer doing my efforts outside because I like the breeze that you can get. The inside ones do just get very hot and sweaty, but if it is a rainy day, then. I happily do some sprints on the turbo. Just have a good sprint. You can do your rain, rainy rise indoors as well, you know? Yeah. Well, that's in the, the thing. In the bar. Hank often used to train in the rain in his shower cubicle. And I'll tell you one thing, Maddie would have done a lot more indoor training if she'd been racing when GCN training was on the scene. If you haven't seen the other sessions on our channel, do check them out. Presented by myself, Hank, Manon, a few special guests. We all have our own little ideas about how to push ourselves forward. And our lighting crew. <laughs> 30 seconds to go. Okay, folks, we're going to be going to a three minute effort next. Seven out of ten. This is where things get serious. I want to hear some deep breathing from Hank in this next set. Starting to ramp it up. Ramp it up. Woo. Three, two, one. Let's change up the gears. Let's make it a bit harder for ourselves. And the sweat is pouring off me already. It's a full on effort, this full threshold effort. Long time trial effort. Make some big gains here today. Nothing fancy. Just good, solid, hard work. <sighs> Anything that's fancy is our lighting crew. Get out of the saddle if you need to mix your position up. Don't be afraid to change your position. These are long efforts. Mix things up, keep those muscles fresh. Now we're into it now, okay folks? So in a minute 50 to go, with seven out of 10 effort. This is the time when doubts start to creep into the psyche. We start to question ourselves. That's the little monkey in our heads. Do not listen to that monkey. Hank doesn't have a monkey. But those of you that do, like myself, tell him to go and do one. Knuckle down. You can do it, that's just your mind. Playing tricks on you. We all go through it. If you're an experienced athlete. And you're just starting out in cycling, you've jumped on the bike and you're giving this a go. Good on you. Various levels of hurt in cycling, but they often disappear. Push through, 
you'll be surprised at what you can achieve. So don't be put off. Just hang in there. It gets better. It gets worth it. You can always trick yourself. It's going further than you thought. It is a strange old journey, our sport. Human powered transport. Racing. Good times, enjoyment, it all amalgamates into one. Why do we do it? Philosophers are still asking that question themselves. Come on, everyone, let's push. We're going up a bit. Let's up the energy to red. Woo! Pop. Let's do it. Up, 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 up. Let's up the intensity. Eight out of ten. Oh! <laughs> it feels like you're here to taekwondo <laughs> class or something. Come on! You gotta think you gotta talk to yourself! You gotta embrace it! Apple orange, apple orange, apple orange. <sighs> Mantras. Whatever yours is, just dig in. Eight out of ten. So now you really struggle to talk. Thank you, pushing on enough. Yes, mate. Come on, mate. Minute 15 to go. We've got one minute all out and then we've got some recovery. Good job, Morgan, at the back there. Come on, everyone. Good job at home. This is where it gets tricky, so hold on. You'll be surprised when you recover, you can do it again. Keep it up. Just find your pace, find your rhythm. Settle in. Keep it going, come on. Let's keep it going. Close the gap. We are using Zwift trainers for this session. I have some wise words on the floor. Close that gap. Coming up to 10 seconds to go. Three, two, one. Let's hit it. All out. Come on, on the drops. On your hands, on the drops. Come on. 10 out of 10. Attack, 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 attack. Come on, everyone, hit it. Halfway through, come on. Up, 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 up. Keep it going, ramp it up to the end. This is to the max now. 20 seconds, we've got some recovery. Keep it going. 15 seconds, come on, feel the energy. Stay in there, hang in there. 10 seconds. Three, two, one, and easy. Oh my goodness. Gracious me. Woo! Well done, everyone. Take some water on board. We've got two, three minutes. Three minutes, sorry. Three minutes. Very good news for you there. Keep you on your toes. Positive psychology. Three minutes recovery. Nice bit of recovery now. Keep the legs turning though. In two and a half minutes from now, we're doing it all over again. First one is done. Good on ya. Now, if you're struggling, come on, stay with me. Let's do one more. Stay in for one more interval. Every bit counts. If you're having a bad day, just hang in there. I'm gonna bring you through this session. You just have to follow along at home. Let's do it together. Come on, we can do it. Hank, words of wisdom, words of motivation. Look, all you gotta do is believe in yourself, know that you can do it. 
tell yourself some positive energy. You know, breathe through the effort. You got this. Pain is temporary. Quitting lasts forever. So here is where we don't want to quit. We want to push on. We want to kick it. We want to do it. We want to survive. We want to battle. Just think about two mouse trapped in a bucket of milk. There's one that, you know, tries to get out so much, tries to get out so much that they turn that milk into cream and he cools out. The other mouse didn't work hard and drowned. Which Hank. mouse are you? Are you I... the trier or the giver-upper? Hank, I appreciate the motivation. I'm not sure where you were going with that, but um, always a pleasure to have your thoughts. Are you the first or second mouse, buddy? Maddie, let's head over to you for some words of wisdom while I have a few sweets. Keep the sugar up, do so at home. Got minutes to get a bit of water, a bit of food in you. I'm not sure if I can really follow that one up. <laughs> I'm not really, um, I've never heard that analogy before, but. What do you say to yourself when you're struggling? I often just concentrate on doing the circular motion with my legs. It makes it feel, it uses like different muscle groups. And I feel like it helps a lot more just focusing on pulling up and pushing over the top and pulling pulling up, pushing down and that really like takes away from the effort a bit more but you're still putting out the same power if not maybe a little bit more but you're focusing on something else. Nice one, it is about distracting ourselves. <laughs> it's about distracting ourselves from the hard effort. I like to think of a desert island Turn that milk into cream. Hank likes to think about mice. <laughs> right, next 10 minutes. Here we go, folks. Five minutes, five out of 10. So just pushing on again. Come on, Morgan. This isn't a tea party. You know the analogy of the mouses? The mouses. The mice. I think we should leave the mice behind at this stage. It is from, it's from Catch Me If You Can. I think I heard it somewhere before, but... Pick this up at the end of the workout. Five minutes, pushing on, come on. So whatever you're holding the wheel of someone in front of you is riding a bit too hard. Had the same experience riding with Ollie Bridgewood on a gentle spin through the Y Valley near our base here at GCN. And Dolly thought it was a good idea to ride at 50 kilometers an hour everywhere. But to be fair to him, he's absolutely flying. He's been keeping track of the GCN training channel. He's been getting his sessions done. It's paying off for him. And it can for you at home too. I'm keeping the sugar topped up. Eat it with such grace. <laughs> <laughs> a bit of ASMR. You've got to practice eating on the bike, it's a good skill. I'll show you. <laughs> just look at the jaw. <laughs> We're just focusing on a nice shot of Hank riding now. <laughs> While I finish my sweets. Can we go to the gallery? We can go to the gallery. We'll go to camera one, please. Yeah. Mm. Hank, what's the best place you've ridden your bike in? Oh, uh, good question. <laughs> uh, it's such a good question, I can't think. It's... The shower. Uh, probably, yeah, Girona, <laughs> I'd say. It's not only because it's such a beautiful place, but you've also got so many good riders to surround you. Not only that, you've also got some uh, good cafes to come back to. <laughs> You're doing this to me, I don't know what that means. Uh, I think there's sweat in his eyes. Sweat in my eyes. <laughs> oh gosh. I'm laughing too much. 
It's definitely a mix between fun and hard work. We've probably been straying into the fun territory a little bit too much today. I hope you've enjoyed it at home. Two minutes to go, Hang Gloves riding Drona and his shower. If you're not familiar with his shower story, he liked to... <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're gonna go on to another G said training session. Hank shared with us a fact that he once trained in his shower to get used to riding in the rain. Make it that what you will. Let's just say it was an interesting story. So you're also thinking about it, it cleans your bike as well as doing it, right? Skewed logic by the man from Tetbury. One minute to go, we've had good fun in this session, this five minute aerobic effort. Now things are ramping up, things are getting serious. The hammer is going down. And things are about to get harder. Are you ready, Maddie? I'm ready. Are you ready? Katie, you ready at the back there? Yes. Morgan, give me a high five. <laughs> Let's do it at home, high five at home. Come on, everyone. Let's get motivated, get that energy level, it does help. Positive attitude, positive vibes. About to up things for three minutes to seven out of ten. In five, four, three, two, one, let's up it. Up the resistance, dig in. All right, this is where the serious stuff starts. This is where we earn that wattage bazooka. Keep pedaling, Hank. This is an afternoon tea. You're not in an all-you-can-eat buffet now. You're in the house of pain! Two minutes, 15 to go. Come on. Keep it up. Up, 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 up. Let's knuckle down now. Two minutes to go. Seven out of ten. Work, everyone hang in there. We've got a minute to go at this interval. And we're up things again for two minutes. Come on. This is where things get serious. This is where you're a man or a mouse, a woman or a mouse. <laughs> Maybe cut that bit out. <laughs> 30 seconds, 30 seconds to go, come on. Fifteen seconds to go. Let's do it everyone, come on. We're about to go to eight out of ten.
Hey Tatan, let's do it. The lights have gone red. Three blocks in total. This is the penultimate one. So after this, we've just got one more to go. Good work at home. If you're really struggling, make this on your last. Come back to this session at a later dates. Build it into your training. Got some progressive improvements, so don't start off too soon. If you really are on your knees now, you've got to a great point. So let's just finish this 10 minutes off. Two 10 minute efforts. Great work. Come on. This is a toughie. This is a real toughie. I remember why I use it so often now. Keep it going, just keep those legs moving, keep them going. Just stay in that gear, don't change down, don't touch the resistance. Just concentrate, get the rhythm, keep on going. 30 seconds. Can we have that one minute? All out. Okay. Just hit it as hard as you can. It's all you gotta do. No matter if you're on your knees or you're feeling strong, just about pushing your own personal limits. Here we go. Are you ready? I'm going to count you in. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Come on to the max. Come on. One minute. Come on. Push, push, push. Up the cadence. Up the gear if you can. Do what you want. Just make it harder and go to the max. Turn yourself inside out. Upside down. Come on, Hank. Come on. Push it! Come on, everyone, come on! Up, 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 up. This is as hard as you can go. No cry babies! Fifteen seconds to go. Come on, last ten seconds, up it again. Keep pushing. Three, two, one. And you did it. Three minutes. Easy riding. Hank, how's the form? Being pretty tired, to be honest, mate. 10 minute efforts are hard. They're pretty long, and because they're fairly short, you can go pretty hard into them. But it's a good way to just manage that control. Is following along with the session. We're about perceived effort of six and seven and eight, moving in through that five minutes and then just to ramp it up towards the end so you finish strong. But these kind of really gonna help your FTP build and that VO2 max. It's kind of that middle, middle zone. But uh, yeah, I enjoyed it. I'm glad there's only one more left though, bud. Yeah, one more to go, one more 10 minute block. You've got this far, go on, you can do it. Stay with us to the end. Only 16 minutes of this session remaining, so you can do it. You just need to hang in there. Starting off, as Hank says, with that five minutes, just pushing on. It's getting aerobic, it's getting tough, but you can hang in there, you can have a bit of a chat. We have a bit of a laugh here. We pass the time, we have some fun. Hope you're enjoying the laughter at home as well. So that's what it's all about too. Training, riding your bike, it's not just a physical thing. It's a mental escape, it's a mental exercise too. It's a de-stressor, it's a relaxer. Helps you finish off the day or start it on a good note. Start looking after our minds too. You don't need a big goal, you don't need to be challenging yourself to go somewhere. Sometimes it's just about jumping on our bikes, pushing ourselves in the moment, giving our mind some time. Modern day life is a busy thing. 
Riding bikes is simple, you pedal your legs, that's all you need to think about. We have 50 seconds though, of this recovery time to go. Then Maddie, what do you think we're going to do next? Last block. Last block, that's right. Let's do it team, this is it, 14 minutes. Let's get pumped up, let's get aggressive. Let's talk ourselves into this, not talk ourselves out. Ignore the monkey in the head. Just listen to me, your director, your manager, your confidant. <laughs> 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 right, here we go. Three seconds, one second, and let's do it. There's the amber lighting from the crew. Technical skills to the limit, and we are in to <laughs> a five minute effort. Come on everyone, five out of 10. Let's illuminate our legs. Let's see where they take us. Come on, Ag, keep pedaling. You're allowed to laugh, but you're not allowed to stop pedaling. We used to have a lot of laughs when we were racing on training camps, long rides together. Never a dull moment with you, buddy. Never a dull moment. Never a dull moment. <clears throat> Can you give us the best story that you've got from working here at GCN? Best story I've got? Yeah. I think it was when we went to Greece, actually, me and you up Mount Olympus. In the Fox. In the Fox stole Hank's microphone. We're having a nice little campfire. Finished for the day. Our lovely filmmaker had gone off to sort out his camera we'd done with the filming, so we thought we were about to head to bed. And then a fox snuck into camp and stole our microphone. I chased it, but he ran away, eventually wrestling it, <laughs> regaining the microphone pack, but the cable was bitten through. Cheeky little fox. Did it leave you any messages? No, but he kept returning. Basically, we'd left too much food opened and he could smell it. And he kept coming back for our food. So we had to stop our dinner and, uh, and pack things up and go to bed, basically. And can you also talk us through a cowboy coffee? So, cowboy coffee, this is what I like to do when I'm bike packing. Finest, grip, finest ground coffee possible. You boil it up on your stove in hot water. Just mix it in and then you leave it stand and the coffee sinks to the bottom and you drink it. Simple. Easy, effective. Similar to a Greek coffee really. Greek coffee, barley coffee, plenty of countries. Embrace the method. But yeah, that was an epic affair. Myself and Hank tried to ride to the top of Mount Olympus. Oh, we did. Well, you You'll have try. to find out if we do by watching the GCN video on YouTube. Mount Olympus home to 12 Olympian Greek gods. Zeus. Zeus, Apollo, Neptune. I'm trying to remember the others. <laughs> Hades, he doesn't live up there. He's one of the Olympian gods, but he's from the underworld. Ooh, shush, naughty Hades. <laughs> Was that Gollum? <laughs> well, he was evil. Hades was evil. He represented the underworld, so... <sighs> Depends on what you're into, really, I guess. But he didn't live at the top of the mountain. The throne of Zeus was at the top of Mount Olympus. Yep, then recently I went on a 
adventure to Crete with my old friend Larry Warbass to find the birthplace of Zeus. And did you find it? We didn't find it, my geography's so useless I didn't even know which mountain it was. <laughs> so watch that film and you can find our slightly, I'd say a mishap of an adventure on the GCN app. We had a lot of fun making it, we discovered some incredible roads on the island of Crete, including a climb that had more hairpins than Alpe d'Huez. Pretty spectacular. Twenty-five seconds to go. What's next, buddy? We're ramping it up once more. So that five minutes, we're able to talk, we're able to have a laugh, have a bit of banter with our lighting crew. But now things get serious. Three minutes. Now up it to seven out of ten. Okay. The pressure is rising. Let's do it. Seven out of ten. Up it, up it, up it. Come on, everyone. I'm going to crack the whip now. You're in it now. Last five minutes. This of the whole session. And this is it. You've come this far. So come on. Let's kick on. Come on. Make it count. Let's do it. I've decided that next year I'm going to push myself even harder on the bike. You can at home. I want to see what's possible. It's always fun going past our limits. It's an adventure in itself. It's the best way to think about it. Keep it up. Good work, everyone. We've had a laugh, but we've had some hard work as well. Now let's finish it off strong. Great job at home. As you can see, I'm getting out of breath. It's really biting. I'm going to dig in with you. I'm going to follow this to the end. It always gets easier. You think that you can't do it, but you can. <sighs> Hardest day I ever had on the bike. That's the Volta Espana. Stage 11. I attacked once at the start and immediately regretted it. Found myself hanging on at the back for the rest of the day, trying not to be dropped. And literally the last man on the road holding onto the wheels in absolute agony. And I thought I wouldn't be able to get through it, but by some miracle I survived and I'm with you today, so it can be done. The climbs were hard, but the descents were harder because they were so narrow, so lined out, so there's no recovery whatsoever. Sprinting out of these downhill hairpins. I honestly thought I was gonna have a hernia. <laughs> Come on. 10 seconds to go. And then we're gonna whap it. Three seconds, come on. Let's do it. And we're into the red, two minutes. But in those times, sometimes it's just your mind and you're just talking to yourself and you can talk yourself out of it. And all you need to do is tell yourself you can do one more, one more little bit, one more little effort. And those efforts add up and they get you to the finish. And you can be in so much agony, so much pain. You can push yourself so far and you think you can't do it again. The human body is a miraculous thing. It's constantly shown that its limits are undefined. So come on, let's hang in there now. 50 minute session, this, this is a solid one, so come on. You can do it, it's meant to be hard. It's meant to be difficult. 
it's meant to hurt. Just keep telling yourself that if you're in pain, it's meant to do that. That's normal. Just relax, stay calm, keep on pedaling, keep on digging in. Don't give up. Come on, hold on. We're getting there, come on, you got this. You got this, come on. 30 seconds to go, we've got our last effort. Let's finish this one strong, we've had a laugh today. Let's make this last one minute serious, okay everyone? This is where we make it all worth it. These sorts of efforts at the end of the ride, they count for triple when you're already fatigued. It's like a buy one, get one free. So come on, let's get ready. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Come on, everyone. 10 out of 10. Up, 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 up. Attack, attack, attack. Get your cadence high. Hold it there. Don't let it drop off. Just push on through. Come on, then. I'm going to come back to you. Come on. Up, 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 up. Come on. Come on, you can do it. That's it. Keep it strong. Solid. Come on, push. 25 seconds to go. Come on, everyone. 15 seconds to go. Come on, you can do it. 10 seconds, come on. Five, four, three, two, one. Mega job. And you've done. Let's just catch our breath. Keep pedaling. One minute. Three out of ten. It's not cold straight away. Keep the legs turning. Absolutely cracking job at home. And everyone here in the GCN training basement. What an effort. What a effort. Well, I've got you did well bringing us through that. Three 10 minute efforts are not easy to try and present. So really did well there. Keeping us entertained, but also keeping us motivated. We have a laugh, but we also get some hard work done. That's what it's all about. You never know what's coming up on these GCN training sessions. You never know what we're going to talk about. You never know what might happen off camera. It'll give us a bit of laughter. And I hope you enjoyed it at home too. Two minutes to go now. Please do return to this session. If you enjoyed it, do as many times as you like. It's a great one to add into your weekly training. Maybe on a, a weekday evening or a very rainy weekend. Just to get some serious work done. Really push yourself, get that threshold work done. It does benefit on longer rides, even though this is only a 50 minute session. Top it up with another 10 minutes of riding to make it an hour. But it's a great one. If you're coming back to it and you have the ability to measure your power or your heart rate and you have those stats, try and up it each week. When you get to that one minute at the end of the 10 minute block, see if you can improve. If you don't have power, maybe think, or make a note of the gear you completed it in, the resistance you set on your trainer, and see if you can just make it a little bit harder each week. Because you'll be surprised how quickly those gains come about. Cracking job. Well done, everyone. Thank you for joining us. Do check out some of the other sessions on the channel too. We've got such a mixture of training rides to take on and accomplish. And we do learn a lot as well. Myself, Hank Mallon, and some special guests present the sessions. We learn about each other's training methods and what works and what we can all try out. Training can be a bit of an experimentation sometimes too. And also a lot of fun. Shouldn't be a chore, should be a bit of fun, should be laughter, should be enjoyable. That's why we ride our bikes. Big thanks to Hank, Maddie, Katie, and Morgan following along, cracking effort. All of you, let us know in the comment section down below what you thought of that one and where you're riding from in the world. Always love to hear from you, and we'll get back to you in the comment section. If you did enjoy this one, please give it a big thumbs up. That's all from me today. Enjoy your recovery. We'll see you on the next training session.